touch the volume button and it stopped the phone from recording, which is a shame. That kills me. But anyway, it calls for two quarts. So I'm going to put the full two quarts in and then we'll check on the dipstick later. And we'll see what it's, what it's at. So I'm happy I did this. Now, this is part two of the oil change, just to show you how it goes back in there. Now, what happened was um, the dealer, I believe, told me something like 245 plus parts. And at first, I didn't think that was bad, uh, you know, that bad. But then I realized this thing probably is 40 or 50 bucks, you know. So I just bought that thing and I did buy it from the dealer. And I said, let me try it. And you know what, guys? Try it yourself. It's not, I mean, especially, I mean, if you are a, a guy into quads and dirt bikes and everything, I can almost guarantee, almost, that you're somewhat mechanical. So this was a pretty easy, easy job. Now, maybe I did some steps that were a little stupid. You know, maybe you don't have to put a rag under the oil filter, but I like that idea because I want to keep the quad pretty clean. And um, that's it. So I ran it. I ran it for about four minutes. They say you only got to run it for two minutes. And the reason you want to run it before you do the oil change, you want the oil hot. So first off, it's thin. It's thinner, so it'll flow better. It'll flow out better into your, you know, it'll flow better. That's all. It'll empty out quick. You won't be waiting all day. But the most important reason that you would do that is because any particles, contamination, pieces of metal, whatever might be in your oil, is gonna be, you'll get it to float around. You know, any, any sediment that was in that oil is gonna start floating around. And that's what you want it to do. So when you do the oil change, you catch all that crap floating. That, that's really why you wanna warm up the motor. It's, uh, I mean, anyone could wait a little bit longer for it to uh, drip down now. Let me get my dipstick, get a fresh towel, and clean the dipstick. And we'll see what we look like. Now, uh, you may have to add a little to bring it to the top, possibly. And let's put this in. And we'll see what we got. Okay, we're good. We are good. Perfect. That was perfect. So, let me just thread that back in. You know, guys, I, I tell you, I don't like the idea that you have to take this out with a wrench. I'm not putting it in with a wrench. I don't know why it got so tight. I guess the plastic sticks, but I can tell you that if this thing gets a little older, you know, that plastic may become brittle, you're going to snap that thing off. I am not happy about that. So, let me make sure it's all in there. All in there good and tight. Not, like I said, not too tight, but in there nonetheless, wipe that clean. Put my little cap back on. And then, of course, you want to run it. Make sure there's no oil leaks. So, that was the oil change. That was complete. And listen, as you probably already figured it out, it was my first time. It really was my first time doing the oil change on this quad. I've always done it at the dealer. And uh, so, you know what? It wasn't a hard thing to do. Let's look at that oil filter back there. Where's the new filter? Oh, uh, you know what? I do see a little spillage under there. I gotta wipe that up. Nothing's leaking. There's no leak, but I wanna wipe that. I, like I said, I wanna make it clean. So, all right, I hope that helped anybody. You know, look underneath, make sure there's nothing tripping. There really won't be, but I just wanna make sure. That's it, nothing's dripping here. I mean, you see the drip from there where I dropped the oil. Not even when I took the filter out. All right.
We're good. I hope this helped anybody. I love my little Polaris. The story behind this one is I bought this from a guy in Connecticut and I bought it as a 2014. And as it turned out, it was a 2016. And that was really, that was, that was a score. I was so happy with that. I love this quad. It's, look at it, super clean. All right. Take care, guys.